so for this video, um, we're going to quickly go into kind of uh, some like tips uh, in Rhino or any kind of uh, mistakes that you might be having, how you might be able to fix them. So we're going to go over things like, for example, if a surface is not a closed surface or if a solid is not a closed solid, how we can fix that. Uh, we're going to go into kind of lofting uh, preliminary and we're also going to go into um, a rail uh, or a pipe commands. Um, so that's going to be quite useful as well. So this is just a really quick video just to show how you might be able to fix um, some problems that you might be having when you're 3D modeling. So let's start with the first one. Um, and a command that hasn't been mentioned before is an offset command. So if you type in offset, what will happen is it'll tell you select a curve to offset. It'll tell you how much of a distance you want, uh, multiple things. So let's say we want to create a wall. We have a rectangle. We're going to select our curve and we're going to type in a distance. So let's say we want our wall to be six inches. So we type in six inches. Let's say we want it to be a foot, for example. So it changes to a foot and we just click on the inside and it created a offset from that exterior wall. And you can obviously offset outside as well. And uh, the next thing that we can talk about is, uh, let's say we have a surface that is not closed or let's say we have a solid that is not closed. So let's go ahead and make a planar surface. And if you're extruding the surface, for example, uh, we're gonna select our surface and we're gonna type in extrude. So right now we have it as solid. So it's a complete solid wall. But let's say that our wall is not a solid wall. Let's say that we selected no as our solid and we have these openings in our wall. So we have to consider how would we fix that. And uh, it's fairly simple. Um, you can just create a new planar surface. So let's type in planar surface and just select the curves and then select the outside curves and then you can close it and you can make it a solid object. Another way to do this as well is you can just loft it. So if you type in loft, loft essentially creates a surface out of curves. It doesn't have to be a closed curve. So you can actually select two things and you can just loft these together. And that way you can actually start to close it and it'll always create an automatic surface. So it's using these two lines, that's why it's a diagonal surface. So that's one way to do it. Another way to close this is if you go right over here, you have this surface from three or four corner points. Let's cascade over this. So we're gonna choose this surface from three or four corner points and we're gonna select our corner points. And then manually we can start to uh, close our surface and make it a solid. So there are multiple ways of uh, kind of creating or kind of fixing these kind of problems. Um, sometimes if you're too far in, it, it's hard to kind of redo it. That's why we're kind of going over how to fix these as well. So that's how you would do that. And I'm gonna quickly go into lofting. So the thing about lofting is that it creates a surface out of at least two curves. So you need at least two curves. In terms of a planar surface, you need to have a closed surface. So if I select these two, it says no faces were made, curves must form closed loops. So that's why a lofting tool becomes you know, very effective because it saves time. And it's all about preference, how you like to make your surfaces. Um, Rhino works in multiple ways, so it all depends upon how um, the user wants to uh, work in Rhino. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go over the pipe command. <laughs> So the pipe command is a, a pretty useful command. Um, what it does is it takes any kind of surface. Let's say we have a, a really weird curved surface, right? We're gonna select this curve. We're gonna type in pipe and it's gonna ask for a radius. What kind of radius do you want? So let's say we want it to be a one inch radius. End radius, you can actually change your end radius. So if you want your end radius to be larger, let's say we want it to be a foot it'll actually pipe it almost like this. But if you want the pipe to be the same, then you can just type in one inches for your start radius and one inch for your end radius. And you can pretty much have, you know, just a normal kind of pipe essentially. So we're gonna use a pipe command to actually create a railing for our staircase. Uh, this is a house, uh, you know, pretty simple two-story house, um, not that detailed. 
So what you need is you actually need a actual grid. You need an actual uh, set of lines. So let's go to our front view. Let's go to wireframe. And we're going to turn on ortho. And we're going to create a, let's say, a three foot uh, railing. And we're just going to copy and paste this railing um, on every three steps, for example, right? So one, two, let's put one year and one year. So we have, you know, our, you know, just pretty basic railing. Then we're just going to connect these lines. Um, and then we're going to go back to our front view and we're going to do something called offset. And we're actually going to offset this, let's say six inches. So we're offsetting it, we're offsetting it, we're offsetting it again. So really quickly, you were just able to make lines where previously it would have taken forever. So that's how you can do that. Now, a new command that we're going to talk about in this uh, specific scenario is the extend command. So if you type in extend, what it does, it's going to tell you select your boundary. So this is our boundary. Let's press enter. Select what curves you want to extend. So we're going to extend this curve, this curve, and this curve. So yeah, you were quickly able to extend those curves and kind of fix that condition right there. And then we have these curves that are overlapping, so we're going to trim that. Let's go back to our view. We'll type in trim. And we're going to get rid of those curves. One, two, three. So there we go. Um, you can see that it's almost like a complete railing, except it's made out of lines. So now we're going to group all of these lines together. Um, so select all the lines. And um, just type in group. And now they're one entire grouped object. So now that you have this line, we're going to actually pipe it. So let's do a pipe. Uh, for our pipe radius, one inch. Sorry, that's one feet. Let's do one inch. <laughs> so there we go. We have a, a pretty quick railing. These are all separate objects. So once again, uh, go back in there and just, you know, uh, group these railing uh, elements together. So let's type in group. So now this railing is one element. And then we obviously, just like a normal staircase, we want it to be centered. Um, you know, we want it to be a little inwards. We don't want it to be hanging too close to the edge. And let's get rid of that line that we don't need, the first line that we drafted. So let's delete that. And then we'll take this railing and we're going to use a mirror command. So we're going to create a symmetrical railing on the opposite side. So let's type in mirror. And it asks us start of our mirror plane. So we want it to be perfectly symmetrical with the staircase. So we're going to pick the midpoint of our stairs with the midpoint of our bottom stairs. And it perfectly, uh, you know, just mirrored it across the stairs. And that's how you can make, you know, a super quick railing um, for a staircase. And obviously you can do that for this kind of, you know, opening as well. You can create another railing on that end condition. Uh, but it's just a very useful command in terms of uh, just creating, you know, it almost behaves like a welded object. If you look at it, it almost seems like it's a, a welded uh, railing. Yeah, so those are pretty much it. We quickly went over um, pipe commands. We went over how to close uh, closed surfaces, uh, open surfaces, and make it a solid. And we went over you know some very preliminary uh, lofting. So that's it for this video.